This is the MakerBot starting to print something. Uh, it starts off by printing a little graph, which is just a little platform to hold the object onto the, the platform there. After that, it's going to start actually printing the object. over on this side. Three stepper motor controllers and a motherboard. And then there's also a smaller uh, extruder controller up near the top there. This particular object is going to be a chest piece. I've been uh, printing out some uh, a chest set, basically. And then uh, there's very here are various other objects I've printed. These are some working uh, flyers type things. Uh, you can print interlocked parts, which are hard to actually manufacture using traditional methods. Uh, there's a working whistle. Uh, I actually printed out a Lego block here, and that system right here. And it's, uh, it actually did fit, not perfectly, but it fit between regular Lego blocks. the printer is a little noisy depending on the motion uh, that the platform is performing. So basically uh, the Y axis is front to back, the X axis is left to right, and then the Z axis is a stepper motor that uh, drives the pulley at, through a belt and then screw drive for in, in the corners of the platform to, to raise it up one level at a time. I'll try to catch the Z motion in action here. There. You can see it stepped up one notch there in the Z action. Object, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's not solid. It's uh, printed a, a wavy uh, grid pattern in between, and now it's covering it with a solid layer on top. So it's a pretty neat little device. It's kind of fun to put it together and even more fun to watch it print. It's not real fast. Um, most of the interesting objects, I've, like the chess pieces, like take uh, 15 or 25 minutes to print. Here's the a picture of the software that's being used to drive it. This is Replicator G, uh, which is basically a, a program that uh, reads STL files, which are models of the object that have been sliced, and then it uh, gen you can generate a G code file for it, which uh, basically has all of the uh, CNC instructions 
that are sent over to the device. Um, the, the software allows you to uh, to view the the object from from different axes, and you can uh, you know you can kind of rotate it around for different views. You can also uh, move it, scale it, rotate it, mirror things like that. Probably can't see it, but this is a rook chest piece, and inside the rook is actually some detail. Uh, you might be able to see it in the diagram here. One side of the rook is actually open, and there's actually like a little tiny staircase, circular staircase that winds around inside the rook, which is kind of neat. Um, here's one I printed uh, earlier. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see the the opening face, and inside there supposedly is a circular staircase. <laughs> The king and queen parts actually have a little uh, male and female symbol down in, inside there too. This is a neat model I downloaded from Thingiverse. Uh, it's uh, a library of uh, CAD files that other people have created. are just uh, general purpose, um, so they have extra parts on them. For example, the RJ45s are not being used by the MakerBot, and also the uh, motherboard has extra jacks which are not being used. Uh, I guess maybe those are used for other projects. There's also a SD card holder here. You can upload the model or the G-code file into an SD card, drop it in here, and then the MakerBot can print uh, while the computer is doing something else. I'm not running it that way, but that's another option for how to run. Okay, just finished. And uh, it tells you the build time there. There's also a little control panel. Um, it allows you to manually adjust the uh, position of the platform. So for example, I can move it over a little bit. There's also a thermistor and a temperature sensor. So uh, the red line indicates the current temperature and the blue line is the temperature setting. So it started, it turned off the heat there after it finished printing and so I basically I turned it back on to keep it warm. After it's finished printing, you just lift out the platform. It's held it by magnets. So here's the finished object. It needs a little trimming. There's little bits of plastic sometimes hanging out of it. This is the completed object. First time I thought that, that uh, those markings at the side were that it didn't print correctly, but that's actually part of the computer model. Uh, it's kind of like uh, windows or something, and so you can see the little staircase inside of the rook. So I'll add that to my collection.